Okay, so I've done my eyebrows. That's all done. Now I'm going to show you the rest of my routine. So I use, what do I use? I use my NYX, I don't know if you can see this, my NYX Proof It. It is a um, eyeshadow primer. I use this on my eyelids to prime my eyes. Now I do my eyes first because um, if I have any fallout like here, I can... It's easier to wipe off if I haven't done my makeup first. So I use um, a little, it's a small stippling brush and I use that to put on uh, my primer. And I do that all over my eyelid. Make sure it's all dry. And it covers the whole eyelid and this primer is really good it makes sure that it's it's tacky and um, when my eyeshadow goes on it goes on even so I make sure that that is all on my eyes and then um, I have this fan here I got this off of Amazon it's a crystal fan and I use that to make sure that everything dries before I start using um, anything and I use that to make sure everything's dry and then I have depending on the color that I'm going with now if I'm using brighter brighter easy for me to say if I use brighter colors I'm going to use the elf I use the elf putty eye primer this is the brown and when I'm using a brighter color I use the white so that it'll stand out I'm going to use this on my eyelids and that's only because I'm going to use natural colors on my eyelids. So I just put this, I put this on top and this is really just going to make sure that my color um, stands out and my color stays. I don't want my colors cause to um, melt or separate. Because if you notice throughout the day, you'll see your um, eyeshadow, you'll see those creases in your eyes. This primer will make sure that that doesn't happen. So, um, I put that on my eyelid. Make sure that that's in well. And bam! It's done. So, the colors I'm going to use today comes are going with a more um, natural I'm using browns I am going to use my makeup revolution this is the chocolate s'mores palette let me show you the colors I love these colors this is all chocolate colors you can see this is my favorite one because I've gone to pan I've gone to the pan there but um the next brush i'm going to use i use muva brushes i really love their brushes they are so soft and the makeup goes on just really flawlessly the only downside is that they don't have the brush numbers or the description on the brushes so i've reached out to them and they've told me they sent me basically what each description is so if you see me glancing over it that's only to reference the um the descriptions that they gave me so this brush um is the what brush is, is the shadow brush is what they're calling it so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna use this color right here which is called cracker and i'm gonna use that as my base and that i'm gonna put right under my brow line And that tapping you hear is that I go in with the color and then I type off the excess on the side of the palette so that I make sure that I don't get the, um, like I said, the fallout. But I'm just going to put that under my brow here. 
So the next color I'm going to use is this color right here and it's called uh, Broken Biscuit. It's a really pretty color. So I'm going to go in with this color and I'm going to put it right under that color that I used in my brow. And I'm just going to put that in and blend it up towards the other color that I use. You see? And I should probably say I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I know what works for me. I've been doing my makeup for some 30 odd years. I'm 50. I'll be 51 this month. So I know what works for me and I just use that. So again. Going in with that color, and I'm just blending that into the other color. All right, and the next brush that I'm going to be using, what they call this, is the eyeshadow brush. And this is, again, my Muva. And this color that I'm going to use is called... I love this color. You can tell I like it because it's a rich pan, but it's called Dipping in Chocolate. And I'm going to use that on my brow, on my eyelid. Sorry. And I just go in. I just tap that in. I don't sweep. I tap it, and that makes that ensures that I get the color, all the color that I want. I tap off the excess, but when I tap it on, it ensures that I get all the color onto the eye. And that's all on my eyelid. And then the next, what's this brush called? So they got all these. This is another eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to use this to blend that color, that creep, that color into the second color so that I don't have that line of demarcation. It's just going to blend all together. And that's it for my eyes right, right now, just right now. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my primer and prime my face. And the primer that I love, I have a lot of primers. When I look, I have a lot of primers. But this seems to be the best primer that, to me, is the best primer. And this is by Wet n Wild. And it's called Primer Serum. And you can see that. So I'm going to put this on my cheeks, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and my chin. And then I'm going to use my Muva flat brush, and I'm going to make sure this is all over Oops, my face. And the reason why I use a brush and not my finger is only because for me sometimes when I use my when I use my hands I'll rub it in like a a lotion and sometimes I won't let it get really tacky so when I use when I use my brush it gets I get in all the nooks and crannies around my nose, under my eyes, and then I know that the primer is on, and then I'll use my little handed in the fan to ensure that it gets tacky. 
because when I use my finger, sometimes I'll brush it in too much and then not rub it in like it's a lotion. But I just want it to get tacky so that my makeup will will um, adhere to my to my skin. So next, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the color. What color is this? Y'all, I ain't got my glasses on. Hold on. Color 450. And I like to use the number three. Um, the pop, whatever. I use like the um, number three. I put three dots. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. And this ensures that I don't put too much makeup on my face. Because once you reach 50, I'm not really trying to put a lot of foundation on my face. I'm really just trying to even out my skin tone. So I don't put a lot of foundation. So I try to put one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, blah, 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 as you can see. And then I will, I'm going to use, now this is called a contour brush with the Muva um cosmetics but i'm going to use this as my foundation brush because i like that it's compact so what i do is i will um i will what is this called my um setting i will spray this into the brush and then i will even out my skin tone and the reason why I use the setting spray is because that also ensures that my makeup doesn't go anywhere using setting spray these brushes are I'm telling y'all these brushes are they are so soft and they work. I mean, they put my foundation on flawlessly. Flawless. So all I'm doing is just making sure that my makeup is evening out my skin tone. That's it. I'm not putting a lot of foundation, you said. Like I said, I use one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how many dots. I don't put streaks of it. Now, once it's all, I feel like it's enough, even out my skin tone. This is where I go in. This is where I go in with my concealer. I use L'Oreal's Age Perfect. The reason why I like this is because my girl is now a spokesperson. Viola Davis. You know, for us over 50 women. Violet Davis is just everything, right? So, anyway, I go in this and I use one to two shades lighter. So, this one I go, this is what I do. I bend down and I see the darkest areas of my eye and that's where I place the concealer. So, I do this, do this, and I put it in the corners. Put on my chin under my lip I put it here and I don't go past the corners of my nose put on my forehead I do a V go down the center of my nose and that's it so the other thing I do again I am um, wetting my sponge with setting spray 
I'm sorry, I'm y'all. I didn't wash up my brush, my um sponge. And I go in and I look up because looking up is going to stretch the under eye. Go in. And I just blend all of this out. And you're like, Alicia, why are you doing it underneath your lip like that? Well, I like my mouth and so I do that there because it kind of emphasizes that area and uh, I should probably tell you, you should let that dry down a little I might not have shown you that but I let that dry down a little so that when I go and blend it out that it doesn't blend it it doesn't take it away when you're when you're using the sponge if you let it dry down a little it makes it easier it won't you won't use up so much of your you won't basically sponge it all away that you've taken so now you can see dark soakers are gone and I've my t-zone is um perfect so now i am taking my minted loose setting powder now look this is the color i'm using now i know what y'all thinking girl what the hell are you doing that color is way too light for you look trust it is not gonna look as light as it appears what i do is i take my small what brush is this child this is a, a setting brush it's by um what's them girls what's them girls you know them girls that do that their sisters they do that what's, oh, what is the name of that whatever this is um tech something i don't know what them girls this is a setting brush and i i look up again Cause that's going to stretch out the under eye and then I use that to set some setting powder in that so that my makeup the concealer under your eye does not crease and that's what that prevents the makeup from under underneath your eyes from creasing And that's it for that. So now my makeup is not going to crease under my eye. And then this point on, you can do your contour. I'm, I'm going to show you what I do for contour. You don't have to, but if I'm trying to go below this, this is what I do. I use, then use my Muva. This is called a lip brush, but I don't use it for that. I go in. And I go down my nose. This is just to have my makeup is totally snatched. And this, I'm using Makeup Revolution's Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in medium. Ooh. I'm going in with that to um, contour my nose. And I go in with my brush again and I just kind of buff that out. And I go back in with my minted light color in that same brush. I go in and 
And I go down the bridge of my nose with the light powder. And you can see that gives my, just contouring my nose. I go in with my Ulta Beauty Buffing Concealer, brush number 31. And I will go in and I will put on the side of my nose. I don't have a super wide nose, but I just like to do that to just give my face a little bit of, like I said, to contour. I'm just snatching it up a little bit. All right, now that I've got all my, this part of my face done. So I like to use a angled brush and I will take some some um what's this called setting spray and i will spray into the brush and then i will use a dark brown color and i'm going to use this color right here this um dessert it's called and i'm going to use that as my eyeliner i just take that brush put it in there and then i will go across my eyelid and that way as you can see it's not too dark but uh, I'm giving my eyelid some definition now I'm gonna take my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eyeliner and I'm using the color whiskey and I'm going to put that in my waterline I'll put it in my waterline and then I kind of put it in my my eyelash line as well as you can see and um I'm not using black, I'm using the brown. It just gives my eyes a little bit of definition. And then I'm going to go in with my Muva Cosmetics. This is, they call this a concealer brush, but I'm using it to go in. And I'm going to go in with this Broken Biscuit. And I'm going to put that underneath. Well, you don't have to do this. I just like to do it because I just make my eyes pop. And then I'm going to go in with this one, this color right here. It's called Appetizing. And I'm just going to go in with that one. And I'm going to go right in the center of my eye right there. And that's it. Just a little pop of color. And this is where I add my, my eyelashes. Now, I have eyelashes. I mean, I'm not completely bald eyed, but um, my eyelashes are not as thick as they used to be. That's from years of wearing false eyelashes. Let's keep, let's keep it 100. So, um, as you for all you young ladies if you're watching this you keep wearing eyelashes and pulling them off 
it's going to pull out your own eyelashes. So I don't wear eyelashes on top anymore. I wear my eyelashes underneath. And um, it prevents, number one, it prevents my eyelashes from coming out. And number two, I just like it. It looks more natural. You don't see that line. Um, you don't see that, those the lash line on the top of the eye. So I will go in with my Kiss Falscara. As you can see, I do have eyelashes. Like I said, I, they're just not super thick. So I'll go in with this. Make sure I've coated all my lashes. I am going to go in and use my Naked Lashes um, number 424. And what I do is I cut them into pieces and then I go in and put them underneath. And y'all probably don't want to see this right now but i'm gonna show y'all what i do and i just put them underneath um there's another brand that does that makes these ones that you could put under your eyes i think it's um who is it called uh lashify that's it I haven't used them yet. I've been thinking about it though. But I like um, Foscara because it's, it's not expensive. And then you just go in and I just clamp them together. And then I add my mascara, which I use, um, who is it by? Who is it by? Child? Um, benefit, Benefit. I use the Benefit Roller Lash. I don't like using a brush mascara. I like a roller, a roller brush. It, to me, it just seems like it doesn't clump on as much. I can control how much I'm putting on my eye. I could be wrong, but. I just know when I use a, a, a mascara that has a brush, it seems to come out clumpy to me. When I use something with a roller brush, it doesn't come out as clumpy. And that's it. And now I'm going to contour and I will use um, my minted bronzer in minted in yacht life and i will go in with the where's my mover brush hold up the world must stop oh here it is okay and this this is the highlighter brush that's what they say but i use it as my um my bronzer brush and i just go in And I put it on my forehead and the apples of now I go higher with my um my bronzer instead of going some people go like right here but I'm not trying to do that because I'm 51 and the higher you go I think I think it kind of lifts your face up and then I go along my jawline just to give me some of that you know see where your you see where your jaw is right here when you put the the bronzer there it kind of gives you a automatic jawline it lifts your face like if you suffer from a double chin you might want to put some there but I mean I ain't trying to tell you what you do but I know what works for me. So I put that to blend it in into my hairline. And now I'm going to go in with my blush. And I'm going to go in with my um, blush brush 
from Muva. And we're going to use my. Sorry, I didn't have this out yet. But I'm going to use my Saharan um, Blush Volume 2. And I'm going to use Tao and what is this? Yara. I'm going to mix this one in this one. And I put it a little bit higher on my cheekbones. Not right here on my apples on my cheeks, but a little bit higher. Just to lift my face up a little bit more. And then I'm going to go in with my Ulta Beauty Sculpt Bake and Glow. And I'm going to use my Hawaiian Sunrise. Can you see that? I'm going to use Hawaiian Sunrise. And I'm going to go in with my fan brush. This is an elf brush. And I am going to use this brownish color here. And I'm going to just go right there along my And you see what that did? If I go right there. See how that kind of gives you that little, kind of lifts your face right there? Kind of de definition. And I'm going to go right across the nose. And then I'm going to take this smaller brush here. This is a Sigma. E37 all over blend and I take that and I actually go down the bridge of my nose that gives my nose a little bit of definition so you can see and then if you want if you want if you like to to define the bridge the cupid's mouth just go right there and put it right there on the top and that's going to define your cupid's bow right there right and you can see you see how it's kind of defined there if you don't have and if you want to really deep in this part right here take a light color pencil like you can use white or a tan and go right in there and that will kind of deepen that that up a little if you don't have a deep line in there you just put a little line in there and kind of blend it out and it'll kind of deepen make it look like it's a little bit deeper but and then I'm going to take my minted night lip pencil in night. And line my lip. Now, I should probably bring this up. Some people like to go outside of the lip line. I like to go just right along my lip line. I actually don't know what's the purpose of going outside the lip line, personally. Especially for us black women. Our lips are plump and juicy. We don't know. To go outside of the lip line, I don't know why black women do that. We have plump and juicy lips. If you don't have them, I can see why you would want to go outside the line. But as a black woman... I don't know why you would go outside and line your lips outside of it. We got plump and juicy lips. I, I don't get it. I don't know if it's a trend or whatever. We have plump, juicy lips. And I can see why white women would do it. But I don't know why uh, black women do. Mm 
Now I'm just trying to get those colors to blend in well together. Oh, I didn't tell y'all what color this I use. I use Juvia's, Juvia's Place, and that was in Legit Nude. And now I'm going to follow this up with Juvia's Place Barely There. I like a brown, uh, a true brown. Color on my lips. And I have yet to find a really true brown lip liner. So I use actual eye, uh, eye and eyebrow pencil. And this is by Aurora. Aurora. This is some no name brand, I don't know, but it's brown. And I like it. And that's it. Then I'll go in with my minted um, loose setting power powder in medium can you see it medium deep and I like to put that just to set my this sets my makeup I'm going to use my Ro Maven Rose Water um, Setting Spray. Shake it up. And then spray. Now some people like to go in with the, their sponge, their wet sponge, and set it in. I don't like doing that. I just use my fan. Make sure it's dry. And the only reason why I don't use a sponge is because one time I did that and I the sponge like came away with some of my makeup. Um, because it was tacky. I don't know what it was, but I was like, I'm not doing that no more. I'm not doing that again. So I just use a brush. To I mean, a brush, a fan, to um, make sure it's dry, and that's it. This is how it all looks. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy the process. This is 51 and 51 doing makeup like I do. I hope you enjoyed that and I want to thank you for watching. Hit the button, like, subscribe, you know the routine. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.